So I live in a three bedroom mid terrace house and like a lot of radio amateurs who live in uh, urban areas, I struggle with uh, RF noise. I've got about an S7 noise and uh, also just limited space. So any antenna I put up is going to be a uh, very much compromise. In September 2007, I became the proud owner of three acres of farmland, which you can see behind me. And uh, for the last few years, it hasn't really done a lot. It's just uh, sat here. We got a deal with the uh, farm next door over that way who uh, put their horses in it from time to time. And in return, they uh, do a bit of maintenance for us, cut the grass, etc., etc. But uh, I decided that uh, it would be markedly improved if I uh, put a couple of antennas up here. So we're going to build a mini antenna farm. Now a couple of ground rules, um, we can't get planning permission so anything we do put up has to be fairly uh, temporary and easy to remove if it does uh, arouse too much attention. And uh, secondly we are on a real tight budget so in uh, true radio amateur style we're doing this on the cheap. So um, I thought what we'd do is I'd quite like to have a uh, 80 meter quarter wave vertical and uh, we've already got a mast here from uh, a previous project which uh, I'll show you the video of that later that'll be a separate video so I'm thinking maybe this mast behind me we could do something uh, VHF or maybe even some kind of a doublet or something and uh, quarter wave vertical down this way and uh, this video is going to be a little bit disjointed because I filmed it over several days. I'm down here today putting the radials in and uh, a couple of days ago I was down here digging the trench uh, for the uh, feeder cable. So the point we're going to feed it from, all the feeder cables are going to come in behind me and uh, I'd quite like to put a beverage antenna in maybe along that fence line at some point. But uh, just focusing on the quarter wave vertical for 80 metres at the moment. So I've been down here today putting the radials in for that and the earth spike. A um, couple of days ago I had a JCB in here which I actually had to drive myself. First time I've ever driven a JCB so that was mildly entertaining. And uh, I dug this uh, trench which I'm walking along now to uh, put the feeder cable in. So uh, let's wind back a couple of days and uh, see my attempts at driving a JCB for the first time. Okay, so first job for these antennas then is to run this uh, irrigation pipe underground because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my feeder cable inside this irrigation pipe. So I'm going to use that as conduit to protect the feeder cable. So uh, the feeder cable needs to go underground because we've got horses here so we don't want the horses tripping over it. It needs to go all the way to where the mast is going to be, about 50 metres in that direction. Like I say, I've never driven one of these before. The guy who dropped it off did give me a very quick um, whirlwind tour of how to drive it, but uh, for all intents and purposes, this is the first time I've uh, driven this. So I'm told I need that up to start it. Turn the key. There we go. Uh, then that down. Then there's a safety down here I have to push. Right. I can't remember what he said the controls did, so I know... Right, yeah, so that brings that up and down. Okay, that's bucket out and back in. That's my cab rotate. Open, close bucket, okay. And I know these are my uh, backwards and forwards controls. So let's uh, dig a hole, I guess. Here goes nothing. Right, so I want my bucket out there. I want to go down. I want my hole about there. Um, oh, no, I need a uh, bucket like that. I just don't want to take out my irrigation pipe. There we go, and then. Give it a bit more throttle. No. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. There we go, first scoop, and I believe this. Right, 
Let's dump it there. Well, that's the first scoop. Well, they weren't wrong. They said there was a bit of a knack to this and it takes most people about 15, 20 minutes to get used to. Um, I think I'm slowly getting it. Oh. <laughs> Famous last words, that was a slightly bigger chunk than I wanted to take. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.